one day will meet. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved the wretch like me. Grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. How precious did that grace appear the hour I first believed through me. Dangers, tolls, and snares I have already come. This grace that brought me safe thus far, and grace will lead me home when we. God, praise 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 God. Praise God. It's good to have Sandy back with us today, and we appreciate those songs she sung. We're going to be reading in Deuteronomy chapter 26, starting with verse 17. But before we get started with that, I want to uh, give out our prayer list and we need to still remember John Childress, Marie Nations from down in Culberson, Toot Coven, Lisa Carringer Moore, Katie Carter, Evelyn Luther. She's back at home uh, now, and uh, Summer Carringer, and the Jerry Beavers family. And uh, we, we still need to be remembering Sandy. She's doing better, but uh, it don't hurt to pray for someone. Amen. Father, we come to you today, Lord. Father, with this prayer list, God, you know the need of each and every heart, God, and I pray, Lord, that uh, uh, those needs would be met, Lord. Just reach down and touch them with your almighty healing hand. And, Father, the ones that we don't know about that are sick in the hospital, in the nursing home, wherever they may be, Lord. Father, I just pray, Lord, that you just reach down and touch them this morning. And God will give the honor and praise and the glory for it all. In Jesus' sweet name. Like I say, we're going to be reading in De Deuteronomy chapter 26. Uh, 17 through 19, and I hope and pray that each one of you has got a good King James Version Bible where you can follow along with us as we read this morning. And the Bible says, Thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God, and to walk in his ways, and to keep his statutes, and his commandments, and his judgments. 
and do hearken unto his voice. And the Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments, and to make thee high above all nations, which he hath made, in praise and in name and in honor, that thou mayest be an holy people unto the Lord thy God, as he has spoken. Father, we come to you this morning, Lord. Father, we just pray, Lord, that you would bless this message. Father, give me the words to speak this morning, God. May I decrease while you increase. And Father, just use me as a willing vessel to spread your word through the internet, God. Father, we thank you and we praise you. And we ask all these things in thy holy precious name. Amen. Amen. You know, I can remember back when I was growing up, the church had peculiar people in it. And the Bible says that we're supposed to be peculiar people. But as time has gone on, I can remember back in the 70s and 80s, I could see a change in church people. We're giving in to many things of the world. God called us to be a peculiar people. We're not supposed to take part in worldly things. We're supposed to have our heart and our mind on Jesus Christ, the one who saved us, the one who died for our sins. And Lord, we just pray, Lord, that to these uh, people listening here today, God, would come to realize, Lord, that they need to get back to the peculiar ways that you had set forth for them to be living by. God, help us, Lord, this morning. Give us the words to say. Father, we thank you for this message, Lord. You know, as time goes on, so many Christians are turning to the ways of the world. As peculiar people, we're supposed to shy away from the things of the world. We're supposed to have our heart and mind on Jesus Christ 24-7. But you know, that's, uh, that's not what a lot of us do. A lot of us has got our mind on uh, who's going to win the next Super Bowl. Who's going to win the NBA playoffs? Or who's going to be the best basketball players? But God, help us, Lord, that we see that Jesus Christ is the one we need to have our hearts and minds on 24-7. We're supposed to be following God. I guarantee you, at least 80% of Christians can't even tell when God's talking to them. Lord, I'm so glad, Lord, that I can hear your voice when you're talking. I'm so glad, Lord, that when you speak, I'm able to hear. And I know your voice, God. I don't have to look around and wonder, well, who's that? I don't know that voice. I praise God that I do know that voice. I praise God that, Lord, I try my best to keep my mind on you and your glory. Father, I thank you so much for saving my soul. Lord God, help me, Jesus. Lord, help me today, Lord. I can, I can look out and see 
Christ, people that claim to be Christian is out in the world, out with their friends who drink, out with their friends who are on drugs. We're not supposed to associate with those people. We can befriend them and try to help them, but we don't need to be hanging out with them when they're doing their drugs or doing their drinking. We need to keep separate from those people. But yet, we need to help them. We need to witness to them. We need to let them know that Jesus Christ has died for their sins. Father, thank you, Lord, for your spirit this morning, God. Woo, Jesus, thank you, Lord. You know, it don't hurt to talk to people. Witness to them. Tell them about Jesus. Tell them how he died on the cross and rose again on the third day so that we could have everlasting life. Yes, Father. God, help us this morning. Lord, I, I've seen Christian post, well, I'm tired of trying to play good. I'm going to go back to being me. That's not what God intended when he saved your soul. He intended for you to be that peculiar person that walks, talks, and listens to God. We need to walk, we need to talk, talk. We need to walk the walk. We need to keep the faith in our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, how I wish I could get them this, this message across. I can't. But pray for me right now that God would give me what he needs for me to say. Father, just speak the words into my heart, God. Woo, Jesus. I can feel your spirit right now just trembling all over me, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Father, we pray, Lord, for each and every soul that's listening this morning, God. Father, if there's something wrong in their heart, Father, I pray that they'll kneel right now in Jesus' name and repent and ask forgiveness, God. You know, repenting, it don't mean asking for forgiveness. It means that you ask for forgiveness. Then you get up and you walk away from what you ask God to forgive you from. You don't go back to it, but you walk away from it. Lord Jesus, we all need to be that particular people like it was back in the 60s when I was growing up. Lord, I can remember... Anytime you walked up to someone and asked how they were doing, Lord, I'm blessed. I'm highly favored. Whew. Now you ask somebody how they are. Well, I'm not doing too well today. My arthritis is bothering me. And uh, I'm worried about so-and-so because... I don't think they're living right. If you don't think they're living right, maybe you'll need to check your own soul. Amen? Because we're not supposed to be judging others. We need to be judging ourselves. Lord, am I doing exactly what you want me to do? Lord, God, help me, Jesus. Lord, you get that to, to get this message across. Father, we need to, Lord God, people, we need to leave the things of the world alone. We need to be focused, focused on Jesus Christ. Father, we just pray, Lord, that there's someone out there, Lord, that needs your 
guidance, Lord, that needs repentance in their life. Father, I pray that you'd speak to their heart. Father, that they would bow down and ask forgiveness of their shortcomings, of their sins. Lord, I tell you what, my legs, legs are about to buckle up and under me. But, Lord, I feel your spirit. God, just touch me, Lord. Yes, Lord, have mercy. Touch me, Lord. Woo! Thank you, Jesus, for your touch and your tender mercy. You know, I have a lot of health problems. and Sometimes it's just about more than I can bear. But I'm glad to say that the Lord's always been by my side. He's never left me. I've left him plenty of times. But he's always took me back into his arms, his loving arms. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, help us, Lord, to be peculiar people in these last days. And a lot, yes, people, I, I firmly believe that we're in our last days. A lot of people say, well, there's a lot of things has to happen before we get into the tribulation. Friends, look in front of you. A lot has happened. The world is turning against Christianity. The world is turning away from God. And us Christians are just sitting by and letting it happen. Lord, have mercy on all of us, God, who are not bold enough to stand for you in these troublesome times. Father God, we thank you for this message. And Father, it's been short again. But God, I believe when you quit speaking to me, it's time for me to hush because I don't want to say nothing on my own. I don't want to mess it up what God's given me. But, Father, we just thank you, Lord. Father, we pray this morning, Lord, that you would bless and have your way in all of our lives and all that we do. Lead God and direct us, Lord, in the way that you'd have us to go. For it's in Jesus' sweet name and for your sake. Amen. Amen. Now, I'd like to say this to those watching. We try our best to be on every Sunday or every Monday morning. We record this on Sunday morning, and then I spend most of the afternoon Sunday uh, evening uh, editing it and putting the graphics and stuff up and then we have to render it out and then we have to upload it to YouTube which usually takes about three to four hours but if you can't get it on Sunday tune in Monday morning and you'll be able to get the newest uh, streaming broadcast here for Lighthouse Ministries. And if anybody needs to talk to me, my number is 361-0718. I think that's right. But it'll be on the screen. I can't even remember my own phone number half the time. But it'll be flickering off and on the screen all during the telecast. Just pick that phone up and and uh, give me a call. Whether you need prayer, whether you got a praise report, or just to let us know that you watch the program each week. Lord, let us know. And until next week, may God richly bless you and your family throughout this week. God bless.